what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now we have this question on the board we say solve 2 to the x plus x equal to 5. well in solving this question we're going to be applying the lambert w function to solve questions like this for example when i have a times e to the a an expression like this when plugged into the lambert w function which is represented by w is equal to a so that means whenever i have a value here a multiplied by e to the same value a when plugged in to a lambert w function the result or the output is always a it goes on to say that for example when i have for example 3 times e to the 3 as long as what i have here is the same as what i have here when i plug this expression to the lambert w function represented by w the result will be 3 so we want to express this like this so we can get our final answer so let's go ahead and do that our first step towards solving this question will be for us to move x to the right hand side and when i do that i'll be having 2 to the x to be equal to 5 minus x now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 2 to the x so i'll divide the left hand side by 2 to the x i'll also divide the right hand side by 2 to the x now 2 to the x divided by 2 to the x i'll be having 1 so this becomes 1 equal to now this expression here is 5 minus x now do you see this expression you notice that it is a denominator and we will try to bring it here to multiply 5 minus x then something is going to happen to the power the power will be having a negative or the power will be negative you see that so this negative sign implies that 2 to the x is a denominator all right so i'm going to be expressing this thing in a different way but it's still the same thing that means i want to write this first on the left and write this on the right i didn't change anything there so i have 5 minus x times 2 to the negative x equal to 1 so it's still the same thing it's just flipping the positions now my aim is to make this power the same as what i have here just as in the lambert w function here i have a here i have a so i need this power to be the same as this but in order to do that i have to switch the positions of negative x and five so i'm going to be writing negative x first then before writing plus five so it is still the same thing now times two to the power of negative x equal to 1. Now, how do I make this exponent the same as this? It is simply by adding 5, right? Cool. But in order to add 5, I'm going to be applying a law of indices which says that when I have a to the power of n, for example, maybe I want to add m to the power, this is equal to a to the n times a to the m do you see that so that means in order to add m i need to express it this way let's go ahead and do that so i have negative x plus 5 times 2 to the power of negative x remember i want to add m but in order for that to be possible, I need to multiply by 2 to the 5. So 
when I press it like this, then I can be able to write it this way. But remember, I multiply the left hand side by 2 to the 5. I must also do the same thing to the right hand side. So I have 1 times 2 to the 5. Do you see that? Cool. So this becomes negative x plus 5 times. Notice from this, I want to get this. This becomes 2 to the power of negative x plus 5. So you see that I have finally added 5 to the power. Equal to 1 times 2 to the 5 is 2 to the 5. Now, I need to bring this e, which is the exponential expression, e, here. And there is something we need to take into consideration, that when I have e to ln a, this expression is the same as a. Because e and lin are both inverse. For when expressed together, the result or the output is this expression here. Which means another way of writing a is e to ln a. I hope we get that. Cool. So, Another way of writing 2, for example, maybe I want to write 2. Another way of writing 2 can be e to the ln 2. Because these both can disappear, leaving behind just the 2 here. So, this is the 2 I'm talking about. I want to write this 2, but in this form. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have negative x plus 5 times now e to the ln 2. Remember, e to the ln 2 is the same as 2. So this expression here has replaced the 2 because they are both the same thing. And remember that this is raised to a power of negative x plus 5 equal to 2 to the 5 is 32 very good very good let's continue our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm to this expression here which says that when i have a to the m and this is raised to a power of n the law of logarithm says take the base a and multiply the powers so m times n which result to a to the power of mn so i'm going to be multiplying ln2 by this expression outside so i have negative x plus 5 times e to the when i multiply these two expressions together i'm going to be having negative x plus 5 times ln 2 that's it equal to 32 now notice the power here or the exponent here is different from this but how can i make this to look exactly like this you notice when i multiply this expression by ln 2 it will be the same as the power right cool so let's go ahead and multiply by ln2 so i'm going to be multiplying negative x plus 5 by ln2 so now i have exponential to the x plus 5 times ln2 to be equal to since i multiply the left hand side by ln2 i must as well multiply the right hand side by ln2 to balance it up so i have 32 times ln 2 good so we can now apply the lambert w function why because the exponent is the same as the multiplier so we say that when i have a times e to the a exponent the same as what i have here and when i plug this expression to the lambert w function the result will always be 
a so let's apply the lambda w function to this or let's plug this to the lambda w function so we have negative x plus 5 times ln 2 times e to the negative x plus 5 times ln 2 equal to 32 times ln 2. Now I'm going to be plugging this expression to the lambda w function. I remember when I plug the left hand side to the lambda w function, I must as well plug the right hand side to the lambda w function in order to balance both sides of the equation. And from lambda w function, I'm going to be having this as a result. So negative x plus 5 times ln 2. That's it. Equal to w times 32 ln 2. Our next step will be for us to divide both sides by ln2. Remember, our aim is to get x, the value of x. So let's divide both sides by ln2. So divide the left-hand side by ln2. Also divide the right-hand side by ln2. Now notice that ln2 cancels off, leaving behind negative x plus 5 on the left-hand side equal to w and 32 times ln2 all over ln 2. Now let's move 5 to the right hand side. So I have negative x to be equal to w 32 times ln 2 divided by ln 2. When 5 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 5. But we are interested in x. So in order to get x, we need to multiply both sides by negative, which is minus. When I multiply the left-hand side by minus, I get positive x to be equal to. When I multiply this expression by minus, I have minus w, 32 times ln 2, all over ln 2. Then when I multiply negative 5 by minus, I have plus 5. And this is our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.